you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha and I want to welcome all of you to my safe little corner of the internet. It is a windy autumn day so you may hear <laughs> the shutters rattling and uh, I wanted to go through today, I have nine outfits that I have curated that are sort of inspired by dark academia, very vintage inspired and a little bit of cottagecore I guess because I'm really going through and changing my entire wardrobe I have literally thrown out well not thrown out donated to the op shop uh, like three washing baskets filled with clothes and I think it's really an, a fun and exciting way to change your energy to feel like you're going through a rebirth when you change your aesthetic now before we get into these video I just want to say there are many people who do not care about fashion, don't care about aesthetic, and that's totally fine. It's valid to care about the way that you dress and it's valid to not care about the way that you present yourself and dress. Both are valid, both are fine. I personally have uh, experienced both. <laughs> and uh, right now I'm swinging more to the, I really, really want to, uh, yeah, care about my, my wardrobe and fashion and really get into the things that bring me a lot of joy which is like vintage especially so anyway I'm also kind of doing this on a budget so I have purchased some of these things I've thrifted some of these things but I dream of wearing brands like Sonderfleur and I decided not to try and butcher the pronunciation of this brand but it's so beautiful and it has some of my favorite outfits one day I just can't at the moment justify spending like $200 on a skirt or $300 on a dress uh no another reason why there's no point in me like paying all of these like thousands of dollars for new clothes is I live in stinking hot Queensland and until I move down to my dream location of snowy cold Tasmania uh I really just can't justify buying woolen skirts and things that I'm gonna wear probably for one week in winter up here <laughs> because it does not get cold enough, let me tell you. So anyway, with all that said and done, I want to get straight into the outfits and show you my new clothes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chingies. This is a linen dress that I bought. This is number one, and I want to accessorize it with a belt. <laughs> and I thought it would look really cute with those little boots that I was telling you about. I really want to buy these boots. Uh, they're from Ringers Western uh, because they're like work boots. And I just feel like they'd be really, really like hardy, but they give me like a lace up vintage kind of vibe. They are nearly $300. So they are thing on my list of things that I want to invest in. The Ringer Western ones. Um, but I just love the shape that this dress has naturally. And it has pockets. <laughs> Whether it's buttoned up or unbuttoned, I just love the look of this dress and it has that real classic shape. And that's one thing I should say throughout this video is this is the silhouette that I love where it's sort of cinched in around the waist and then flares out. I think that it suits my curves and my belly. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite, it's the, what I feel the most comfortable in. So I'm not really gonna be experimenting with like crazy different silhouettes. It's all gonna be very like tailored here and then going out. Uh, so yeah, this is number one. Now this is outfit number two, one of my favorites. It doth make me feel like I'm in a Victorian era movie. <laughs> Um, and I do have a vest as well. <laughs> so it's a little bit too tight around my bust, but I uh, can get it up. It just, it looks a little bit, you know, very, I feel very wenchy, you know? <laughs> um, but I do love the fit uh, in general of this vest. And I am thinking about using it as a pattern to maybe make my own little vest. I love how it comes down to little points here. That's definitely one of my favorite looks. I feel very dark academia, ready to run through a field, <laughs> albeit a library looking at some books. 
And one of the things I love about this dress is the button detailing that it has on the front. Uh, I think it's so sweet. It's a thicker like polyester kind of warm material. So definitely in the summer sun, I've already worn it in the sun uh, and it was not a vibe. So I think when I go to like colder places, it'll be a lot nicer to wear. I feel like I'm someone who tends to go towards patterns and it's a toxic trait of mine that needs to stop. And so as I've been purchasing things for this kind of like wardrobe overhaul, I've been focusing on a lot of plain block colors so I can wear them with everything. And <laughs> this top is a godsend. Um, and I just love that I can wear it with like every single one of my skirts. I can put vests on it, put it underneath things. And it's amazing. So very, very versatile. Just having a nice poofy sleeved. As Anne Shirley Cuthbert would say, puffy sleeves. I want to dress with puffy sleeves. <laughs> So this one has thrifted and new items. This top I have been keeping for years and I found it thrifting when I used to love wearing flowy kind of like kimono sort of things and uh, it's a vintage sheer sort of top. It gives me like Stevie Nicks vibes but I love it tied up around uh, in like a bow around the neck. I don't know, I think it looks really cute because it has these two ties. But realistically, I'm more like to wear it open so this can be unbuttoned so it just flows but I also love it kind of up here because it just looks like a stay what a stay would look like which is like a little mini corset I guess for this midroom area and I love this old embroidered uh, blouse look but the hero of this outfit is this linen skirt because I can wear it with anything. I love it with my white top. I love it with essentially anything. Staple, simple pieces. Now I have to be honest, I know I said that the second one was my favorite, but this, I can't wear this where I live currently. This is me manifesting living in Tasmania in the freezing cold where it snows because I am officially an Outlander cast member. <laughs> so let me explain what is going on in this outfit. I have a high neck, long sleeve green dress, okay? That goes all the way down to the bottom. Over the top, I have an authentic kilt that is made of wool from Ireland that is only done up at the very front so it parts so you can see the green dress underneath. I then have <laughs> a green wool poncho over the top that is belted and I need to fix it but I've got my grandmother's little brooch here as well. Now let me tell you why I have this gorgeous kilt. And when you see it up close, it's got like purple and beautiful dark greens and navy blues on it. So I went to the thrift shop and I found this one and another kilt. They were size 18. They were $10. I was like, yes, I'm buying these two kilts because my ancestry is Irish and Scottish and Welsh and English, okay? I'm just like UK and Ireland, like, in a blender that is my ancestry so i was like i'm buying them they're beautiful they're made of wool i'm sure they are quite expensive i'm sure they're worth a lot of money full price which they are i think they're like 100 to 200 dollars i'm not 100 percent sure anyway <laughs> the size 18 amazing i'm a size 18 but then i get home and i try them on <laughs> like a size 10. I literally couldn't do them up. Uh, so anyway, I have tailored them just a little bit and moved the clasp at the front. So now I can wear them over things. The coolest it gets up here is probably seven degrees, if that. So I very highly doubt I'm going to be able to wear this outfit very often but I am going down to Tassie for my 30th birthday this year uh, so yes I'm taking the kilts and I'll be wearing them down there because it's gonna be freezing I am going to vlog the Tassie trip for you just so you know so yes very happy to show you one of my favorites where's the 
stone. I want to fall through the stone to see Jamie. An Outlander reference, if you, you know. Okay, I'm sorry. So keeping it nice and simple this time, it is just a simple linen dress that I've cinched in with a belt around my waist. And I think it's important just to remember, I'm not going vintage all over my wardrobe. It's an old worldy vibe. I wanna wear things that make me feel that way, but are new as well, you know? So wearing this nice linen dress is good because in summer it'll stay cool, but then I can wear it in winter as well. I love the idea of wearing some little brown boots with it one day and that I can accessorize it with like a nice brooch that any type of jacket or jumper will go with it as well in winter. <laughs> Oh, it is a staple, nice little dress. Okay, so this one has me feeling like a medieval pirate peasant <laughs> vibe. Uh, but I have this top and I love because it's off the shoulder. Beautiful bright green, love bringing in a few colors. Uh, and this is just a kind of layered tiered brown skirt. You can't really see it too much. But I have paired it with this little halter a belt situation thing uh i don't know and i just love it <laughs> it makes me feel like i'm about to go off and go on an adventure or plow some fields milk the cows pluck the chicken i don't know <laughs> i don't know one is super simple it is a different tartan pattern skirt than the first one that I tried on. Uh, it's just like a simple drawstring. There's no buttons or anything like that. And it's more of a black where the other one is like a really dark chocolate brown. And it is paired with this linen top, which I have just tied up and even just tucked underneath itself. But it does look cute just hanging there as well. I genuinely feel like I'm meant to just be in a library somewhere just staring off getting lost in the books and honestly i really do believe that if you ever want to break something up or make yourself feel more dressed wear a belt <laughs> especially if you are trying to accentuate your waistline i just feel like belts look like you're put together because you've gone to the extra effort of putting on the belt that you didn't actually need. This belt's not keeping anything up. This is a purely aesthetic belt. <laughs> so people know I've put time and effort into this goddamn outfit. Now we have the return of the white puffy sleeves. Uh, and this is paired with a linen dress that looks a little bit like a pinafore. Uh, and I absolutely love this. It's super simple. It's very kind of straight down, which is not my favorite silhouette. I prefer more of a swishy skirt, but that's fine. As you all know, I think everything looks better with a good belt. So <laughs> I thought I would show you this cute little pinafore outfit as well. One of the things I do want to do is find a few more dresses like this one, pinafores, maybe even make a few and actually embroider some beautiful uh, autumnal or like seasonal embroidery things on it and just make them really, really cute. Uh, that's another really big reason I wanted to change my fashion was because I wanted to start embroidering like little collars and things because uh, you guys know that I love my embroidery. I present to you the final outfit. <laughs> so let me break this one down because it's really cute. I wore it out to brunch on Sunday. So it literally is wearable and realistic in the hot weather that I live in. Uh, hence why it's very spaghetti strappy because literally I live in the subtropics. It is the middle of autumn and I am sweating trying on all of these warm clothes for you. <laughs> So this is just a little lace up top. I have it with my trusty old tan belt. And then this skirt is super interesting because it has blue and red, but also this like greeny sort of yellow color. And that's why I felt that it went really well with the green on this top. But these are the shoes that I've been wearing. So like you can see, they all kind of go together. And then my lips also too. 
matches in with everything. <laughs> this one is super simple and I know I'm repeating a lot of tartan, uh, but I already had two compliments when I went to the shops in this little number for this skirt. So wearing tartan and whatnot is fine. Oh my God. I tell you what though, I am not joking. I'm so looking forward to potentially moving down to Tassie where it's like freezing freaking cold because all of the things that I want to wear are like super warm <laughs> and, uh, and yeah it is uh would be refreshing to be in the cold for like nine months of the year instead of being in the middle of autumn and still being hot so anyway I hope that you liked the outfit <laughs> Now the reason that this whole thing has come about is I've been going really deep diving into myself and I've realized that I think a lot of over the past like five to six years I've been inspired by my friends, by my teachers, by other people when I went on my big spiritual journey and I was so inspired by them, I kind of tried to emulate them. Like, oh, I love this like bohemian, you know, vibe. So I'm gonna try and like emulate that. And, and, t and I, I took a lot on, but then in the meantime, realized that that's not really who I am either. So this period I'm in, turning 30, it's probably a big reason for it. I feel like I'm just like shaking off everybody else's stuff and honing in on my most authentic self looking at like the oldest versions of me that I can remember, the things that I've loved for the longest time in my life, like going back to childhood. I remember I was eight years old and <laughs> we went out to this little restaurant and I wore like a little old vintage baker's cap and a woolen shawl because I lived in New South Wales and it was really cold in winter and like a maxi kind of skirt. And I looked like, like a little Victorian paper girl. <laughs> And I remember everyone was like, you look so cute. And everyone, all of my parents, family, friends were just like saying how cute it looked. And I, that's the difference is that I felt so cute. I loved it so much. Like it was my favorite outfit. This goes back to childhood. Like besides my love of Winnie the Pooh <laughs> and the hundred acre wood, uh, besides that, the oldest thing that I have loved is like vintage kind of old worldy clothes. I used to dress in my nan's and pa's outfits. Like I think it comes from that, like loving what my grandparents wore and my nan's beautiful old, you know, brushes and her crystal wear. Even my wedding was inspired by a vintage look. I'm not saying it's authentic vintage, but just that feel, that old worldy feel, that's what I love the most. So you are going to see more of this unfold, I guess, throughout my social media because I literally have gotten rid of all of my clothes that uh, don't <laughs> fit this kind of aesthetic. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear from you, like what your favorite pieces were. My husband has just come home with lunch, exciting. Um, oh my God, and Callum chopped off all of his hair and I gave him a haircut. So uh, maybe I won't unveil that in this video, but probably in another video, you'll see him. He has like all oh, short hair, oh my God. Uh, so anyway, he's about to knock on the door. I'll talk to you all later. Feel free to subscribe and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye my love.